boys and girls, today we have something new, directly from China, keyless entry system. Now let's take a look at this. Now, there should be a manual here somewhere. No, I think I threw it away. Here it is. Now it's a very simple manual. Uh, let's see here, there's the wiring diagram, black and red, positive and negative. Uh, I'm gonna open this first. We also have an antenna, this red thing here, and two remote controls with the trunk opening. There's an indicator LED, I guess it blinks. Now let's see, if I press the button, no, oh, something happens. Oh my God. Green wire, or oh, raising the windows. So let's see if this guy works. No, oh, it's already. All right, then I press close. Okay, it sends a negative to that green wire. All right, that's all it does. When I open it, the negative goes away. Okay, so that's all it does. Now the next one is the trunk, blue wire. If I close the cart, nothing happens. And if I open it, nothing happens. And if I press the trunk button, okay, it sends one signal and one signal only. Let's see this. It sends a negative and for about 500 milliseconds, let's see. A little bit more. Around 500 milliseconds. Okay, so that's all it does. Brown wires for the turning lights. Let's see what they, they do. I think they're both the same. Measure that. Oh no. They're not. Let's take a look at them separately. I can see if there's any difference. Horizontal position is the same for both. Let's get down channel 2, the same level. Now let's press it again. Open the car. Okay, that's funny. Something funny going on here. Ah, this probe is at 1x. Now, do it again. Okay, both signals are just the same. Just simply not connect together. So you don't short your indicator system. Because that way you wouldn't be able to indicate left and indicate right if both were the same because one right one wire goes to the left and one wire goes to the right so if they were the same you'd short it out your indicators okay so we've done those two so we got it all connected here the way it should be according to the manual and what happens is when i close the car you see it goes up here close it again on the scope and when I open the car, oh, let's take channel 2 away. When I open the car, it goes down. See? Okay. So, this one is your ignition. Let's suppose you open your car. And then you get inside your car. And you put the key on the ignition. And you turn the key. Immediately locks your car. You're driving. You get to somewhere. And you turn the key counterclockwise and it opens your car pretty smart now what happens when I close the car open the car manually get inside and turn the key it locks your car again remove the key and it opens your car what happens if I remove power I remove the positive let's put the positive back on 
nothing happens, which is good. So I remove the negative, put the negative back on, nothing happens, which is good. A common mistake guys make out there is attaching the ACC or ignition uh, plus 15, I mean ignition plus, to the battery plus. Let's see, you do the lazy installation, both of these guys together, like this, attach the battery, okay. So your car is closed, let me close it, with the key, the car is closed, see. Then somebody opens your hood, goes to the battery and removes the battery pole, and then attaches again, removes, attaches it again. Removes and attaches it again. In case of this module, nothing's gonna happen. It's just going to close your car again. And again. And again. Okay. So, just for finishing, this is how it works. Press the button. And it moves. Thanks for watching.